you started in numbers and you're like, hey, why did you click on this video? Perhaps you're one of my students at Saipan Community School and you said, uh, Pastor Matt, you made us. Maybe you were just scrolling along and you saw how to read the Bible for beginners and you thought, well, that seems a little interesting. For whatever reason you did, we're gonna tell you very quickly how to read the Bible for beginners. And it all starts after this really short intro video. Hey, what up? We're Pastor Matty Ice. And we love water. Trees need water to grow. You especially need to drink water when working outside. And we like to preach the living water wherever we go. So enjoy these videos of our beach house. And if you want to go on an adventure with us, hit that subscribe button as we use our resources around, around the, world. the world. I searched up how to read the Bible for beginners and I saw a lot of like 9, 10, 17 minutes and I thought, uh, I just want to make a quick, hopefully under five minute video that talks about four basic strategies that you can use if you want to learn how to read the Bible as a beginner. See, last year when the world shut down and the pandemic happened, Victoria and I still had the opportunity to go out to different beaches here on the island of Saipan. And we said, we're going to make a Bible reading playlist of all the epistles here on the island of Saipan. If you want to watch that, that link's there or will be in the description below. But we never told you how to read the Bible. And we wanted to make this quick video today that tells you four quick tips and strategies. Ask the question, what? What Bible? There are so many different Bibles. Men's Bible and a women's Bible, a teen's Bible, a kid's Bible, a sports Bible, a Bible for tree huggers, a Bible for poverty and justice. Do they all say the same thing? Yes. So when looking for a Bible, you need to know what fits you and maybe what sort of extra added things that are going to go in there. They're not changing the Bible. They just have a little extra articles. I use the waterproof Bible because I sweat a ton and we're often by the ocean. I don't want to ruin it. So find a Bible that works for you. So now where do I start? First, where do you start? I prefer that we start, you know, by yourself. That's why reading on the beach is something we like to do or reading in an isolated room because you need to focus because sometimes you're going to be like super confused. That's the first part of where. The other part is like where, like literally where do I start? Do I just go to the table contents? find the first book that pops out and go there? Or do I just start at the beginning at Genesis? What I recommend you do is start with the book of Psalms. Perhaps the reason why you clicked on this video is because you're at a bad time. You want a little bit of light to shine in. You want a little bit of shelter over your head. And you're like, I'm just having a bad time and I'm gonna turn to the Bible. Where should I go? Well, the book of Psalms was written by King David, King Solomon, and maybe some other guys who were leaders, who were attuned with God, who were very, very wise but still had very difficult and rough times. And they were crying out to God throughout the majority of it. Cry out with them. Another place if you want a little bit happier is go to the book of John because that reminds us that Jesus wins. I also recommend the book of Proverbs, just very wise things. The next question is how? I recommend you read one chapter a day, especially in Psalms. A lot of those chapters are very, very small, except for Psalm 119. Just read one chapter a day. Try to think about it. Just read a little bit and try to be consistent. Why am I gonna read the Bible? It teaches us life lessons, it teaches us history, it teaches us so much about who we are and how we can relate with other people. And we need to look at it with that perspective. Something that a lot of people, when they're reading the Bible, forget, this Bible was not really written for you. It was written by guys, inspired by God, for people at the time, it still applies to us. Their problems, their issues were no different than ours. And we can still learn from the same lessons, but it's not directly written for you. They didn't have Bible hubs so they can compare different versions. I'll try to link those in the description below to help you as well. Those are very good resources if you wanna start and you're like, I don't have a Bible. Hopefully that was short enough for you. If you needed a, bit, a little bit longer version, just click the backspace after you click subscribe and the like button. Watch one of those longer ones because we wanna make sure that you know how to read the Bible, where to start and how to keep going. The worst thing that could happen is you get frustrated and chuck this thing out and never turn back to it just because you tried the wrong place. You started in numbers and you're like, I love the book of Numbers, 
and it's something that you can get to eventually. Numbers 13.33 is a good thing for you to search up. It reminds us that we are big and that we are powerful and that God can work through us. Maybe start with the book of Psalms, Proverbs, John. All right? We hope to hang out with you on one of our Bible reading playlists again over here or the link will be in the description below. Victoria, if they want to see more videos of us on the other side pan around in the world, what should they do? Subscribe. All right, I'm Pastor Matt. I'm Victoria. Hopefully this helped. Wherever you are in the world, stay chill and float on.